Hello sailors, this is the Dodger Kebab and coming up in this video, farmers own a lot of land, but are they just showing off? We have about six houses from this point back. They're all farms. He may be Mr. Worldwide, but not everyone is a fan of music superstar Pitbull. Pitbulls, banned, banned. We are banning pit bulls. Also, thousands of midgets turn up to a hospital at the same time to receive vaccinations. Today, they queued up in hopes of getting a shot. Across the country, lines were long, patients short. But first, I want to talk about Fall Guys on the PS4 and PC. This is an incredible game, but what I find absolutely mind-blowing is that it's taken up until now for someone to make this concept work as a video game. Everyone loves Takeshi's Castle, and the reason for that is obvious. Watching people fall over and get hurt is always funny. Well, the developers behind Fall Guys clearly are trying to emulate the famous Japanese game show. You have the chaotic action of large groups of people trying to navigate survival courses at the same time time and they've even copy pasted some of the same courses from Takeshi's Castle straight into Fall Guys. Case in point, the fake door real door course where you have to run from start to finish but in the way are doors that you have to burst through. Some are just paper thin and the contestants can just burst through but other doors although they look the same are solid. Try to run into one of these and you'll hurt yourself. So the basic formula is clear. Five rounds of different assault courses. You and 59 other online players and after each round, some of the players are eliminated so they don't progress to the later rounds. The last round is a winner takes all to decide the victor. So does this sound fun to you? It should. Although it's the sort of fun that makes you feel like king of the world when you win. But when you lose, especially when you are so close to victory, it's the sort of game that makes you want to launch your controller into the TV. But the fun here is had by competing on and qualifying on the different assault courses. So let's take a look at some of them. This one is Hit Parade and it's a classic assault course style level. Try to cross the beams to get across quick or if you get knocked off you'll have to take the slow route. Then through these windmills which move in whichever way the most people are pushing it in. Further past this is the swinging pendulum section so you don't just need to watch out for these but also for the other people that get sent flying by them. Then you go up the wet hill and past the finishing line. This level is called gate crash. Simple idea just time your route correctly so you always take the path that has the lowered gate. By the end of the course there's a big fat screw you there is a hole that you have to jump at the bottom of the hill so if you mistime it you're screwed now we have the slime climb the course is always going upwards and the area is filling up with slime touch the slime and it's game over what makes this one tricky is that there are many jumps with very narrow bottlenecks so you have people blocking you and taking you with them when they screw up but that's not the hardest bit not once have i managed to get over these logs nope i've still never finished this course the next course is called the Whirly Gig, and I'm a master of this one. You have a series of plates that have spinning bars on. I can navigate the bars no problem, but other people that can't just get thrown into you anyway. The second half of this course had two paths. I normally take the longer, easier path. There are more of these types of assault courses, but then there are others too. There are levels when you get put into teams and you have to complete an objective as a team, like this egg hunt one, where you're split into red, blue, and yellow teams, and whoever gets the most eggs into their team's basket by the time the clock ticks down is the winner. So you start off by collecting the eggs in the middle of the course and bringing them home. But once they run out, you end up raiding the baskets of the other teams. The team with the least amount of eggs loses and every member of that team is knocked out. Then you have this level where everyone is split into two teams and you have to play the world's slowest version of Rocket League. Anyway, like I said, 60 players start a series of five rounds. During each round, more and more players are eliminated and the fifth and final round is called Full Mountain. On this course is an each man for himself dash to the top. Once you get to the top there is a crown. Grabbing this means you are the winner but also means you actually get a crown which are the premium currency for the game's cosmetic shop. And before you think it, no, you can't pay real money for crowns. You have to earn them. There is another currency called Kudos which you get after each round. If you lose a round you get just a little. If you qualify a round you get a decent amount. You can buy different cosmetics.
cosmetic items with kudos but you can also buy these with real money right now everyone with a pc or playstation is playing this game hopefully switch owners too can get a release of this game and well who cares if xbox gets it or not fall guys is this month's playstation plus free game or it's 20 quid on steam but either way buy it now it's brilliant right that's it other <laughs>